We're ready. Okay. So we are uh, about 200 yards above the confluence of the Emory and Clinch River uh, on the Emory River at a site where we took samples yesterday of uh, just to show you the, the example of the turbidity of the water and the ash content. Uh, yesterday the Emory was flowing 70,000 cubic feet per second at the Oakdale Gauge, which is about 20 miles upstream of here. And there are several tributaries that come in, the Little Emory, Clifty Creek, and a lot of smaller trips that come in between there and here. So we had uh, probably significantly more, more flow than 70,000 cubic feet per second. But that's a, that's a pretty substantial flow. Probably five times what the Colorado River runs through the Grand Canyon at normal levels. And, 70 times what the Ocoee River through the Olympic Whitewater course runs. But anyway, this was the sample from yesterday, and you can see that it's a beautiful color uh, and opaque. No light transmits through it and everything. We, uh, we uh, looked at it uh, after it settled out yesterday and, and found roughly 2% by volume of sediment and it's mostly ash. So 2% by volume gives us a huge transfer of ash being pushed down uh, past the confluence by that flood that we had yesterday. Uh, just to give you an idea of how things change in 24 hours, we're at the same spot. Uh, these samples were taken just below the surface, so we didn't dig anything off the bottom here. I was sticking my hand in the water. So this gives you an idea of how much clearer the water is today even though it's still flowing around 11,000 cubic feet per second, which is a high flow. Uh, it's still a record for the date. The previous high flow for this date was about 8,900 cubic feet per second. But even so, you can see the clarity and how quickly this stuff settles out and the possibility that maybe we've already pushed it downstream. And if you look on top of the water, there's a lot of debris that was not here on Monday when I was out here. It looks like, not really sure, trees, organic material possibly. Just little clusters of debris floating on top of the water. I'm James Kane. I'm a volunteer with United Mountain Defense. Uh, I'm here today at the Kingston City Park. Um, as you can see, we have some children and uh, some residents that are recreating here at the park. It's a nice grassy area. Um, this the other day we have videotape um, of two women swimming in this water which is just downstream from the uh, from the coal ash disaster that happened on uh, December. And um, what I have is I have a uh, latex glove and I have a trowel. And what we've seen as we walked on this little uh, little sidewalk here is we've seen some coal ash. And uh, just give you a little comparison of uh, the coal ash versus like the soil on site here to kind of give you a little perspective on what we're dealing with. All right, so here is uh, the sidewalk right next to the uh, the high water level on the on the river here, just downstream. So you have to ask yourself, where did this stuff come from? So let me first of all show it to you. So here's the stuff we're talking about, a nice gray ashy goo. Um, and so what happened here is the water level came up overnight with the rain event and it has washed a bunch of uh, this coal ash debris onto the sidewalk here. So give you a little, give a little comparison. Here is the native, here's the color of the native soil on the site. So we can be reasonably certain that this debris here uh, did not come from any rain washing it from the soil here. Hello, I'm here at the Kingston City Park, and what we have is an inlet, um, and it's the uh, like the night or afternoon after a large rain event, just downstream of the coal ash disaster. And as you can see, we have a beautiful plume of some kind of ashy substance. I'm no expert, but it looks like some kind of ashy substance. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sample, and hopefully we can test it and see exactly what is in this mess.
I'm gonna hold it up for the camera. Sure. Nice. You see the ashy stuff in there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Can you tell us what our coordinates are? Uh, yes. Alright, we are at uh, north, 35 degrees, 52.721 minutes, and west, 84 degrees, 31.533 minutes.